already up and I had, I cooked my breakfast. Aren't you surprised? I don't usually do that. And I still don't know why I am. <laughs> I did get up late, so I guess it's part of it. So I'm boiling my water while I eat my breakfast. I made myself an egg, a duck egg. And then I, I, ha I am having sausage, chicken sausages, which I know they're turkey sausages <laughs> that I found in my freezer. So I'll turn you around and show you my breakfast. See, there you go. And then I also made the same thing for my son. He just used a chicken egg. He specifically asked for a chicken egg, silly boy. Like he thought I was actually going to give him one of my duck eggs. Haha, -ha, funny kid. So this is what I've been working on. The <clears throat> three pumpkins that I did are now nine jars plus some extra because I actually uh, used some to make the pumpkin bread. So that's what three pumpkins can do for you. <sighs> so now I have, probably have like 24 more to go, but that's okay. Keeps me busy. And the good thing is, is all of these jars um, I like empty them and this refill them within a couple of days. So nothing like keeping things moving around, right? So that was my project for the morning. Next. So I am rendering the fat and I looked up the directions on the internet because when I did my chicken the other day, I took off all the fat. What I didn't realize is you also do the, um, skin. So I saved the skin too. I did all the skins, but this is just the fat that I kept, so you're supposed to put it in your food processor or blender and like grind it up, because it'll cook better, so. So it looks like when it's done, it's pretty disgusting, but that's going to go in my crock pot. Alright, so I have that ready. It's in the crock pot. I have a little bit of water in the bottom. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's some water in the bottom to start it. And I'm putting the lid on, but I'm not keeping it on the way. I'm actually keeping my little clip here to keep it open, so that's what it's supposed to do. So we're turning it on low, and it's going to cook all day to get the fat. Because it's got, like, other stuff in it, so I can, like, do it later, whatever you call it. Skim it now. Skim it later. But, here we go. Hopefully my whole house doesn't stink like a barnyard, because that would be disgusting. Okay, so I have my lunch to show you. I am actually having the soup I made yesterday and I didn't eat. I don't know. Oh, I know. I had such a tough time trying to get the carrots to cook down. And so I actually let it cook like forever, probably three or four hours. And the carrots are much softer. They're just not completely soft and I don't know what happened there. I also had problems yesterday with my pumpkin not cooking like I wanted it to. I don't get it. I think it was a day for not being able to cook anything down apparently. So I have my soup and I'll s <clears throat> swap you around and show it to you. So I have enough for a few days, but I'm thinking I might freeze one or two portions of it just because I am not sure I'm going to get through all of it before I get tired of it. So anyway, let's show you my lunch. Okay, so this is the soup, and then I have a little bit of GGMS left. I finally drank up my gallon of it, and it's taken me forever because I've been drinking so many other things, but it's finally gone. So, there we go, and that'll be it for lunch today. Alright, so I finally got my fat rendered for my chicken fat that I've been working on all day. <laughs> It wasn't hard, it was just weird, and it smelled a little. My friend thought it might smell a lot, or not. She said it. she never really knows. It's kind of a guess. <laughs> um, so I have that done, and I'm getting ready to pour it into a jar. A jar? No, a container in a few minutes. So I will show you that when I go to do that. But I'm, first I'm going to tell you what I had for supper. I had sushi, and I will insert a picture. <laughs> a Zevia sparkling water grapefruit. Not exactly sure why I didn't take a picture of that. Maybe I did. I don't remember. If I did, I'll insert it here. And, and 
that is going to be it for the day because it is bedtime and I just spent an hour <laughs> looking for t videos that I was missing so I'm done <laughs> I'm glad to have found them and I'm good to go now but boy that was frustrating so now I'll show you my rendered fat chicken fat it has a name but I don't remember Smith something because there's venison tallow beef tallow and then chicken has one bear is like bear grease there's a bunch of different names for the fat but it's I'm rendering it so that I can make soap and I did the soap today and it's now hard I'm super excited because I fixed the soap we screwed up on um, I watched them when we screwed up on a soap before so I knew what to do but it's like when you do it yourself you always kind of second guess yourself that until you've done it now I feel more confident so now I have my own pan spatula knife and something else just for soap so I think I'm going actually going to see if I can find a container to put it in and then put it up on the shelf so I have it for later because I'm sure I'll make soap now because it's not that complicated to me so anyway I will show you my fat rendering and then that'll be it. Okay, so that's it. It's just weird. And I know it needs to go in a container of some sort. Um, and at the moment, I think I might have one in my dishwasher, but for now, I'm just happy to have this finished and I'm hoping it'll be ready by tomorrow so that we can use it, but we shall see. I'm just excited that I actually did it. I did it! Okay, I promised you a menu, and here it is. So I have orange kefir smoothie still this week, chocolate crunch granola, omelets, pickle soup, or cabbage borscht soup. I have roasted cauliflower, carrots, and broccoli, roasted sweet potatoes, beets, and turnips, and then I'm going to do peas, carrots, and green beans, like a mixed veggie thing. Butternut squash curry, fajitas. Southwestern spaghetti squash, tilapia veracruz. For uh, my sweet treats, skinny chocolate with cashews, pumpkin bread, pumpkin chocolate chip, pecan protein bars, and then coconut and cardamom powerhouse latte. It's still there because I still haven't conquered it. But there we go. I finally have it done and I'm happy with it. Now if I could just get a month down I go through my fridge and I know all this food is there, but I just can't make myself get ahead. I don't know why, but anyway, I won the battle for this week.